Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Today I'm going to be doing something super interesting. I saw this on TikTok and I decided to make it into a much bigger thing and into a full YouTube video and that is I have a water testing device and I'm going to test some water that we drink on a day-to-day -day basis, some of the most top name brands, as well as my personal water from home in the fridge and from my tap. So we're going to see, I'm a little afraid, but actually really interested to see what the acidity levels are. And this is super simple. It actually came with a battery already in it. So we're going to test those out and see which is the most toxic and which is the safest to drink. Before we begin though, this video is sponsored by Dossier. Dossier produces classic high-end luxury scents at the fraction of the price by cutting all of the expenses and the infamous brand tax. They have a risk-free system allowing their customers to try the perfumes before they commit to them. Every bottle comes with a sample size that you can try out before you actually open up the bigger size. And if you don't open up that bigger size and decide you want to return that bigger size, you're still able to. They have a 30-day guarantee risk-free return period. And that'll guarantee you a full refund, no questions asked. So any of these scents are $29. They're based on designer scents that can range in retail anywhere from $50 up to $280 in retail. I also have a code for you that you can use to save money. And that's Ariana10. That gets you 10% off your purchase. They receive excellent feedback all the time, including from me. I have used per uh, Dossier perfume strictly for the past like, year and a half and I love the way they smell. They're very comparable. They're always adding new scents to their collection, so make sure to give them their feedback, your feedback so they can take it into consideration. They offer free returns and exchanges forever, and they have great bulk deals with up to 25% off and free shipping with a purchase of three plus bottles. This is my Dossier Perfume of the Month. When you open it up, it has a super cute little inside that says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups, and it always comes with this little information sheet. This tells you what kind of perfume it is, what the notes of that perfume are, what it's inspired by, and a little thank you message. Today's perfume is Floral Lavender, and its top notes are Mandarin, Neroli, and Black Currant. So as you can see in here, we have the sample perfume as well as the large size. So this is the sample that you will try out if you decide you want to exchange it. Don't open up the bigger size and you can return it. Ooh, that's a really nice floral lavender smell. So I love lavender anyways, but this is a really light, I promise you, so that's like the best thing I can describe it as. Nice floral, but like a light lavender mist coming forward. This is the actual big bottle that it comes with. So you're getting that sample is kind of like a little extra. And then you also get this big bottle. This big bottle is awesome because it's only $29 and you can use my code for 10% off and I'll have that in the description box below so make sure to check that out. But what I love most about this is the look of it and the top part. So this actually is magnetic. So all you have to do is just simply put it on there. You don't have to press down or anything. It just connects to it because it's, it's magnets. I love the look of it. It's super simple, really cute. And it tells you all the top, middle and base notes of this and it says Dossier on it. So make sure, like I said, to check the description box below for all the information on Dossier. And now moving right along. All right, so I have the setup of what we're gonna be testing today. This is gonna go so fast, but like I said, I really like this concept and I wanted to do something different. So this is what we have here. I have the filtered water from my fridge, the tap water from my sink. I have core hydration water, ice mountain, smart water, I have life water and Fiji water, and some of these are super expensive. So we're gonna see which ones actually are toxic and what's not toxic. This stick is super cheap and affordable. I got it on Amazon. This is not an ad for this, but uh, it's really nice because on the back of this reader, it says how pure is your water. It tells you in different numbers what it is. Here we go, if you go by PPMs, Zero is ideal drinking water, 50 is carbon filters, mineral springs, things like that, and 100 is hard water, which is more so don't drink it. I think I'm going to start with my tap water because that's probably the grossest. Oh God, here we go. What? 
Oh my God, no way. This is city water. City water that I'm paying for. 373. And as you can see, there's a red on there. That means it's pretty bad. That means it's hard water. Ew. Okay, we're gonna try the filtered water now. Let's hope that this is any better. So I'm gonna hit clear. It goes back to green. What? This is saying it's the exact same. 338. Okay, we're gonna clear that. That's not cool. Now we're gonna do core water. Way better. 86. So that is actually like in between the middle and the hard, but way better than the water that I have at my house. That's disgusting. Both filtered and tap water are the exact same. So Ice Mountain, here we go. Whoa, that's pretty high. Ice Mountain's 155, which is way worse than core. It's still better than my water though. All right, now we're gonna do smart water. I know that they cost kind of a pretty penny on the market. Smart water. Wow, what? 24, smart water is in first place right now. Very pleased with that, thank God. All right, life water. This is the pH balanced, it says. And see how balanced it is. I know life water is kind of expensive, so. Wow, okay, that is currently in the winning place of 17. And so that's even better. We're gonna test Fiji, which I love Fiji, so. Fingers crossed this is good. Ooh, whoa! You guys, I'm very disappointed. Fiji's 116 and it's in the red. Ew. My water, disgusting. Disgusting. 380. Second place, Ice Mountain. Terrible. And so we'll go my water here. This is the worst, second worst. Fiji's the third worst, which I'm not happy about. Then core, then smart water, then life water. Life water is the winner. Literally none of them were zero, so that sucks. You're not actually getting full amazing water, but this is the best, so cheers. So in no way uh, am I like trying to mess up their brand. I just wanted to test it out for fun. Hey, I mean, this is some actual testing um, going on here. So I might bring this around with me and see if I can't test the water when I go to restaurants and stuff like that too. It'd be kind of an interesting thing to observe. So anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. I know this was a totally random video, but this was a random idea that I had and I thought it was kind of neat to see how really clean and fresh our water is, how purified it says it is. If, I mean, if it's lying or not. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell button to be alerted when I post. I upload a new video on my channel every Monday and Thursday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And as always, stay sassy. Bye everyone.